Hey, hello. Today I want to speak about emotional pain. We, we all feel emotional pain being a human being and we all need to learn how to deal with that. I've just, well, I want to share with you um, a little scenario I experienced actually only just yesterday, which really helps you to understand how to deal with it and to be able to take responsibility when you're feeling emotional pain. Hey, I am Carolina Cummins and if uh, you are new to my channel, I am here to help you to become your true self again. So it's all about recognizing when you're not coming from your true self and you're coming from your ego self and when you're thinking beliefs and thoughts that are not actually aligned with your true self and how to get back to the love and peace that you truly are. So today I want to talk about rejection. I mean, this is one of the biggest pains that we all have experienced in some ways, some smaller, some bigger. And the worst is probably when a group of people is maybe saying something to you or suggesting something and you perceive it in a way that they are pushing you out. They're pushing you out of a certain circle or group of people. And this is what this example is about. Um, a friend of mine has told me a story where this happened to her. There was an event that she was always going to, to do with her hobby. And uh, she really liked it there and she wants to continue going there. And it's really perfect for her. And then the organizers sent her an email, I think, and, and just said that we want to have some fresh and new people come into the circle. So not always have the same people and they kind of uninvited her. This was a big, big pain for her. Something got activated or reactivated that made her feel so rejected yeah, and so um, shunned almost. It was a big pain and I totally resonate with that because I've also had that pain, maybe not in such a strong way, but this is something so important that we need to know how to deal with this. So she was talking about that event and the conversation was always going outside of her own feeling. It was always going to the people, what they did and what they should have done. And that was not nice what they did. And, you know, so the focus was on the outside world that seemingly caused her to feel the pain. But that's not the true um, reason. The outside people are not the real reason why she's feeling the pain. The pain is always inside of us, yeah? And she does even know that. She said, it's probably, I know where this pain started, you know, I've had it many times. And so she's very aware of, you know, that is, it's actually kind of like a trauma. And still the focus was always on the other people all around her. And then I, I just thought, I'm going to say something here, you know, and it might not go down very well. And I did. Um, and I, I kind of said that, yes, but it's inside of you, isn't it? This pain has been there since you were three or five or six. And, and the people around you um, don't really have anything to do with that. And even if they were different or even if you were going to a different circle, the same situation could happen again. Because the real reason, the cause of your emotional pain is not gone. And I know she said something like, oh, I really don't need to hear that now. I mean, she actually um, heard that I t told her to have a thicker skin. That's not what I said. That's what someone else said. And that's what a lot of people say. You've just got to grow a thicker skin, you know, or, or don't be so sensitive or don't take it personal. And all of those things are actually valid. Um, but my approach is to, we don't need a thicker skin. We need to be able to deal with our own pain. Nobody else is responsible for that pain. And nobody else has to do a certain thing or say a certain, certain thing that you feel better. This is the key thing to understand. 
So it's never about the other people. They are delivering to you a message showing you, hey, look, you still got this unresolved emotion from way back. And it's for you to look at it. Nobody else has to do anything for you. I know now in that situation, I could have said to her, I'm so sorry that you're feeling that way. And then put the ball back into her court. Now, when you when you stop telling the story and you actually then just stay with your own emotional pain, that's when you can change the whole situation. That's when you will stop paying it forward. So in this case, what actually did happen, she kind of left. She didn't say goodbye to me. And, and then I felt very sad. I woke up this morning, I felt really sad. And it's my heart that's sad. It's my human that's sad. Because she kind of paid her pain forward to me. Like, don't talk to me like that. Or don't say that to me. And so pay, yeah, paying her pain forward. Because she wasn't ready to deal with it. You see what happened? So then now I felt sad all day. I wasn't, I wasn't really um, inspired, didn't feel inspired like I normally do, but I did do my meditation of focusing on my light. So I was working on coming back to my own love in my heart and, and seeing my light in my heart. And that did help. And I did it a few times. So I wouldn't go down into that emotional pain. And it was just a, a an observing. The pain was there kind of all day long and I was observing it, but not going into it. And I felt very inspired to make this video because this is actually my passion to help humanity not carry on with the same pain that they are carrying and make and spreading it. Because when we are reacting like, don't talk to me like that or don't say that to me, then we are actually upsetting the other person, another person. And then that person is feeling low energy or is feeling sad or angry. And then that person then will pay that forward and maybe lash out to another person. Can you see how this ball will then roll? This ball of negative emotion will spread around more and more and more. And my philosophy is, and I want to share this with you, is to, to stop it there the pain, nip it in the butt, and instead go inside and, and don't even talk to anybody anymore. Because nobody, I mean, unless you go to therapy, the therapist can help you, that's their job, but it's not anybody else's job. Yes, a friend could help, um, which is which is very helpful, of course, or maybe your partner. And you could do you could do it together. You can work on it together by helping each other to actually send love to that pain. And this is what, what I did in a way, when I felt then sad, I had to do something. I, I feel it's not, um, it's not even bearable for me to constantly feel pain you know, or, or sadness. And so I always go into my heart and feel my love and spread my love around my body. So that part also gets the love. I could also send my love directly to that part or my light. And, and that, and immediately I always feel lifted up, you know, I'm, I'm lifted higher above that pain, that emotional pain. And then I'm able to just observe it. If it doesn't go, often it just goes, you know, even then straight away. So my message for you is to please own your own emotional pain, like rejection, you know, like um, making somebody makes you wrong or, or criticizes you. Somebody doesn't seem to want you, some, you know, doesn't choose you, maybe ignores you. All of those things are very painful because at the bottom line, we all want to be loved and all, we all want to belong to a group. You know, we want to be able to know I am loved in this society by some people. So that's where it comes from. And that's why we need to honor that. And we need to be aware of that we have the capacity to either spread more pain or love 
or stay neutral. So I'm suggesting when you are in pain, go inside, stay neutral, don't say anything, don't pay it forward, deal with it yourself and, and really send love. You can also put your hand on your heart and you can say, I love you. I love you exactly as you are. I love you unconditionally. And say it a few times and feel it and send it to that pain that does a lot energetically. And you might have to do it often depending on how hurt you actually are. If you get tears immediately, the pain is very raw and it's very strong and it takes more work. And if it's only very faint and only there a little bit, then it still takes work and it will probably go away faster. But we need to do the work. We are responsible for our own pain. We've all endured various pains. We've all got conditioning. We've all been hurt as children. There was not, con unconditional love was not present. And therefore we all carry some inner pain. And we all need to be responsible for that. This is my big message. And my dream for our society is that we can all be responsible and we can all empower ourselves by loving ourselves whenever we need to, whenever we need to have more love. And that way we neutralize the pain and we are able to then spread love again to the people around us because we've healed our own inner pain. And maybe sometimes that is not enough and then we do need to have some therapy, that's also possible. And that's then our responsibility. So my message is spread love and peace and joy. And if you can't do that, then just be silent and stay neutral and be inside, you know, with your own emotion, whatever is going on. It's, it's nothing to do with anybody else, never. So when you take something personal, make sure that you remember it's my thing. It's not to do with another person. Okay, so if you've got any questions or maybe you've got an issue that you'd like to share, I always love to hear from you. You can just leave a comment and share something. And if you found this helpful, please give me a like. This helps this video to get out more and you know help me to spread this message of spreading love and creating more love and joy in our society by applying this method thank you for listening until next time have an enjoyable day